Welcome back. 542 on your Monday morning. Cannery Pier Hotel and Spa in Astoria was recently renovated, keeping its historic charm, though, in the process. Cora Harlan joins us live this morning with a preview of what you can expect if you book a summer visit right on the Columbia River. Cor? Oh, yeah. Ken and Travis, what a treat here from Astoria this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to everybody else in the shadow of the Megler Bridge here in Astoria at the Cannery Pier Hotel and Spa. Again, a hotel that's had a refresh here that was just wrapped up earlier this spring and is now ready for summer traffic. And the great thing about this hotel is, of course, its historical nature. And we're going to talk a lot about the history here in the next coming hours here. A lot of the history, but it's just undergone a refresh here. And the, uh, the, the best thing, in my view, uh, about this hotel is the view that you get when you come through the front door. This staff here, this staff here, most of the staff are very friendly people. These two guys are exceptions to that rule there. I'm joking, of course, there. These guys are good guys up at the front desk. But I want Carl to kind of walk ahead of me here and show folks the entry as we walk into the main lobby there. That is looking right out into the channel of the Columbia River out there. The clouds are in this morning, so it's obscured. But I can tell you last night when there were no clouds in here, it was a... Well, it still is a $20 million view right here, and you get, the, you get the sense, actually, that you are right out into the River Channel. This is Lynn DePledge, who is the general manager of the hotel. What a great job yeah. you have I here. I can't complain, and on a beautiful morning like this, right, you can't, you can't be at any place that's more beautiful than where we are right now. Let's dig into this, because uh, we've got two minutes here. This, is, this hotel was designed to give the visitor the sense that they are out in the river, and they have succeeded here. A uh, new company uh, bought this hotel uh, in 2019 and have just completed a nice new refresh here. And it's, it's got a lot of the modern amenities yes. here, right? Um, that's the hospitality. Purchased this hotel in 2019 and we completed the renovation late March. And everywhere you look, um, all of the guest rooms, completely stunning. Yeah. Um, you know, all of the amenities completely elevated to meet today's um, modern travelers, but also retain and i think we've done it beautifully a sense of place that gives this place a uniqueness that you can't find anywhere let's talk about that too because a lot of the original pilings on which the cannery stood here are still in the ground as we speak here this morning yes. right <laughs> there's a there's a history wall that we're going to show you a little bit later on but this was uh, this hotel was the vision of a guy who lived here an architect who lived here had a dream about putting a hotel here and everybody Thought he was nuts. Banks wouldn't loan him money to put a hotel out here. And his dream all these years later kind of came to pass here, building on a lot of the cannery tradition that was here. Right. Right? So, like I said, every town should be so lucky to have a, um, a creatively um, crazy person. Nutty guy. Yeah, like right? Like Jake Jacob. He, he was the vision behind this hotel. And without him, we wouldn't be here today. And what I think what we've done so, um, so nicely is retain all of what he wanted the, the guests to experience, which is what we're doing right now. Yeah. Being right on the river, in yeah. fact, 600 feet into the Columbia River. Yeah, yeah. And when there's a ship that passed by, it feels like a complete eclipse. Feels like it's right on your, just outside right. your window. We've got about 30 seconds left. Uh, Lynn, let's go outside here a little sure. bit. Because, uh, yeah, uh, when fishing was king on the Columbia River here, and I, I read on one of the history things there, 1911 was the historically high fish catch, right. almost over 100 years ago. And as fishing sort of gradually declined, tourism has kind of picked up. And this is a crown jewel in the, uh, in the crown of, of tourism out here. Look at the birds Look take off that. out here this morning. That is from Astoria right here, the Cannery Pier Hotel where we're agitating the birds just a little bit this morning again in the shadow of the Megler Bridge there. You can see the fog is back in here, right. but check it out, man. The tide, I think, is out here, Travis and Ken, so you can kind of see some of these pilings that were here oh, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, still in the ground, still solid, still sound. Uh, uh, but this is a, is a hotel. If you've got some vacation plans this summer, don't, lo don't overlook the Cannery Pier hotel and spa, the latest amenities. Sunrise. And look at the sunrise over there. Let's got her eye on the sunrise on the other side of the fog way down the river there a little bit. So a lot of things going on here, a lot of moving parts, and they are all a spectacular, uh, make for an expect a spectacular experience to visit and to come here and hang out a little bit. That is stunning. That is absolutely gorgeous out there. That's really, really neat. And yeah. I do, it smells really good out there, too. Just oh, like yeah. On the ocean. Fresh the salt water. Air, yeah. yeah. 
Pretty yeah, cool. I, I've actually stayed there. Haven't stayed there since the remodel, of course, but uh, rooms are beautiful, mm. uh, and it's right uh, downtown Astoria on the river there. Uh, Astoria as a town is a very nice town, too. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's yeah. a great spot to go to. Yeah. I mean, what, what, a cool, what a cool spot to be able just to hang out on the porch, though, and just... Take, all, take it all in, all the sights and I'd sounds. I'd say I'm jealous. Yeah, I yeah. would too. This morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> a little jealous of Cor's job this morning. That's yeah. great. Yeah, Cor looked pretty relaxed. He looked he like did. he was, uh, he did. you know, enjoying He's himself this morning. He's on those coastal morning. vibes, yeah. yeah well,